Charlie, this is April. <laughs> <Michael> <laughs> <Boxer. laughs> I almost shot down the phantom. <laughs> Hey guys, Drewski here, and in today's episode, I'll be doing fire support in an OH-6A Loach in SOG Prairie Fire Arma 3. That means we'll be controlling the F4 Phantom as well as the Cobra in laying some napalm and some rocket strikes down in the jungle. But that's not the cool thing about the video. The cool thing in the video is who's in my Loach, and that is Don Ghost Rider Hasi. Don is a former Ghost Rider of the 195th. He's a crew chief who served in the CCS from 1966 to 1969 exclusively for the Mac V SOG operators you see represented in this DLC. So as we're buzzing around the jungle in this scout helicopter, listen in to what Don has to say about his recollections of Vietnam. It's a very, very cool experience being in a Vietnam game, having Don on the side gun shooting this M60 down at VC, while also sharing his experiences from the war. It's something that I absolutely don't feel deserving of, but Don was just kind enough to share that with us, and I'm very grateful. Yeah, the Loach has always a, been a fun helicopter. Uh, mm -hmm. Never got to fly in them, uh, but uh, watched them work a lot uh, up in the free fire zone just uh, south of the Cambodian border. Yeah. All of that area up there was <laughs> called Indian country, and any target you saw in it was open game. And... Uh, They'd go out there and the this loaches would just we got about four or five bop down on the treetops and, and try and blow the trees out of the way and get draw some fire. And then uh, the, the uh, cobras would be orbiting at 5,000 feet. And when they got fired at in the loach, then the cobras would roll in. And, you know, it's just fun to watch them because they're just like, they're so yeah. quick and agile, just like a mosquito. Yep. That could have been a very fitting name for the aircraft. Yeah, really. So are your rockets HE or white phosphorus? Yeah, they're HE. They're they're technically the anti-tank ones. I think they're, they're just larger warhead HE rockets. Um, but okay. we can switch that out super quick on any rearm. I'm making Sounds sure I don't good. step in front of that minigun right now because <laughs> I know Don's got his finger on the trigger. <laughs> yeah, you better compliment Don's hair today, Rob. <laughs> yeah, you're looking good, Doc. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of people here today is crazy. Look at the amount of people getting into that Huey. I know, it's just it, it's the same. What I was saying to Ken and the same for you, Don, is if you, if you um, Look at that. get killed and respawn, just come to play Coop. Oh, looks like here we're going. Here we go. Howdy, Howdy Digby. Digby. Am I taking uh, am I taking someone's seat here? No, no you're not. Okay, cool. Uh, I might need some more capacity, <laughs> otherwise Bodder's not gonna make it in. And actually Bodder can make it into ice summer. Okay, cool. <laughs> all elements, all elements, this is six, do not reply. We're gonna touch down and stay on LZ Jameson while we wait for the uh, engineers to do their thing. Once the engineers are confident that they have a workable fob, we will then move out as an element. More of a reminder than a change in the orders. Out to all. Yeah, we do this again. We should probably get our pilots in beforehand for a little formation flying training. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you judging them from the back here, Doc? <laughs> I, I, it looks, I was just saying to my chat just now, it looks really cool from the back here. Yeah, it looks like yeah, they're trying to go in the in a echelon left, but it's kind of sloppy. What, what was the biggest number of helicopters you ever saw in one place, Dom? I imagine it was like a hundred and something. hundred? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. What, all up in yeah. the air at once? Blimey. Yeah, during the uh, uh, May counteroffensive in in May of '68, uh, we put a hundred. We had a hundred ship uh, formation. Put the blocking force in on the Cambodian border to block the uh, uh, VC and NVA that were coming out of Saigon after they tried to overrun Saigon and failed. They were going back to their sanctuary and uh, and man, that was a hell of a deal. Wow. A hundred helicopters, the, the uh, Brownwater Navy was going up and down the river shooting the place up. 
Uh, the Phantoms were working the place over. It was, uh, they had to lose a lot of people those day, that day. Because I suppose even with, you know, if you've got a hundred birds in the air, even, even yeah, that's, with, that's, with everything going well, you're still going to have someone with engine failure or a component going wrong, aren't you? Yeah, that's moving upwards of a thousand troops. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. It's one of the long thin L's there. It's like on the trail. Yep. On the trail, jump off. On the trail, jump off. I'm going to do one circle just to do some scouting around it, just in case. I want to make sure none of our guys are getting ambushed as they go land. I'm going to fly over the first two. Looks pretty clear from the door, gonna see. It's not exactly a, it's not exactly an expected LZ, is it? I was trying to avoid all the really obvious clearings and everything for this precise <laughs> reason. You want me to drop you before those last two Hueys, Digby, or uh, after them? Whenever it's convenient for you, I realize that I'm a passenger. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I don't want, uh, their, pers their awareness is a little bit less than ours. I'm going to let them touch down first, and then I'll drop you uh, after depending on where they're going right now. Yeah, Roger. Oh, four is going down. Three did another turn. We'll wait for three to get in, and then I'll follow him in. Six, this is base plate, message over. Hello, six. Hello, base plate, six, send you message. Thank you for the lift. Yep. Be advised, we're gonna have the FOB be built about 100 meters to the northwest of the original position. It's got better sight lines in this area, over. 100 meters northwest, roger, out. So what was the, when you guys were traveling between point to point, um, I guess it would depend on the the mission and the threat of the area, the, the threat level. Um, but what was the average altitude you guys were flying at over the jungle, over the treetops? Uh, we always flew uh, 3,000 feet or above. Gotcha. 3,000 feet is the effective small arms range. And of course, 5,000 is for a 51 caliber. And if, you know, if, if we're in an area sometimes, they drive us that high, but most of the time just 3,000 feet, or we were flat on the deck, you know, dodging <laughs> yeah. between the trees. Gotcha. So you weren't, you weren't ever in between that. You were just either in the trees to have, I guess, cover and a little bit of concealment from any AA, or you were up high enough where they couldn't hit you. Exactly. And, uh... When they started getting the uh, uh, radar-guided anti-aircraft guns, uh, you know, that's when we started taking a lot of, lot of casualties. Yeah. We had a C&C uh, uh, &C ship that uh, went down. Uh, it had taken off, and they had uh, three Special Forces guys on it and four of our air crew. And uh, when the... They took off out over the AO first, and when the other ship started out there, all they saw was a column of smoke coming up, and they figured it was shot down by uh, radar-guided anti-aircraft fire. Wow, that all, fast. All, all seven members on board were dead. Wow. Yeah, we had a sister company, and uh, we'd be flying around down in the Delta at 3,000 feet, and we'd see them going along about a thousand feet above the ground. And uh, they always got shot up real bad all the time. Huh. And their um, uh, treetop leveling was a hundred feet off the trees. And our treetop low level flight was between the trees. You know, we'd actually <laughs> fly between them. Yeah. So, so what was and their what was their reasoning? Was it what, did they have a different strategy to fly at a thousand, or was it a was it a lack of training or experience? Lack, lack of discipline, yeah, gotcha. lack of discipline and training. Huh. We did our our uh, when we first went over to the country, they were already there, 
and uh, our air crews went out and or got oriented to the AO and were able to get some, some gunnery training. So they'd take a pilot and, and gunner with, from our unit and the pilot and the gunner from their unit. And uh, guys said that the pilots came out wearing cut-off fatigues and shower shoes. Wow. Flip-flops, you know. And just total lack of discipline. Yeah, they were just trying to wear their comfy shoes for the flight. Yeah, they just, I don't know, it just... Uh, yeah, it just wasn't the way we were trained by Major yeah. Carlson. Uh, call sign Drop something. Point. Uh, send it again. Repeat last if you were trying to get in contact with platoon there. I'm dropping two radio nets. Yeah, they're hitting it with that grenade launcher now. Forgot that Cobra has a grenade Good launcher on the nose. There, Delta. Send it. Yeah, uh, yeah so uh, moving to your objective, uh, essentially. A fun uh, weapon. Until the IC gets back Very hand, effective, yeah, too. Uh, keep making progress towards your uh, objective, Mark. This is 6 on 84.1. Radio check, radio check, over. 6, could check. Let me give you a little bit better shots here. I'm... I forgot how fast this thing gets if you put it nose down. I am reinserting in a Huey Slick now. Uh, because that, uh, uh, looks like some targets up on those rocks. People. Uh, we're having to fly them in from Play Coup. If you're waiting on reinforcements, that's why it's taking a while to arrive. Break. Base plate, I need you to focus on getting a checkpoint up on your fob as quickly as you possibly can to enable us to maintain momentum. Otherwise, we're going to bog down and fail to take a single zone. I don't think we can get fire support on there. We've got friendlies moving up, but uh, we were held up by that. We'll start moving as soon as we can. Over. Cubby to uh, F4 Phantom. Sorry, forgot the name. Roger that one. Uh, I have a strike for you, Falcon. Uh, I have a strike for you, Green Square, to the west of our, or southwest of our friendly fob. Friendlies are 250 meters away to the northeast of Green Square. Over. Roger, location seen. What orders do you want on it? What do you have? I've got 3620 Mike Mike, 342 FAR, and 8 Napalm. Uh, let's use those FARs. Roger, engaging. Covey to base plate at the FOB. Uh, we are going to be assisting you with some air support over the area. Over. This is base plate. Hey, firm. Thank you for that. Out. Yeah, my uh, my father actually got drafted into Vietnam. Uh, he didn't go though. They. Oh. <laughs> he he went to the medical clinic, and the or I, I don't know how it worked at the time. The doctor that was there that was going to inspect him, uh, told him to smile, and when he smiled, he had a mouthful of messed up teeth. And so the uh, the doctor did not let him go to Vietnam because <laughs> his teeth were his, his dental situation yeah. was so bad. Yeah, they needed him, and that class, class, he got classified 4F. Yeah, I've heard of that happening before. Uh, Six, this is one over. Do we have Carl Delta coming over to so the bridge? Over. When I got to Vietnam, they just pulled no, my bad teeth. <laughs> it was uh, when I got back. I went to the dentist, and the dentist repaired some teeth that were. Worse this than the ones I pulled in Vietnam. Break. Really? Huh. If you guys yeah, so I figured out they just, on that artillery, over there, just battery fire. extract so it, me get him back to duty, and, over. you know, worry about it later. On, on it, yeah. Covey to Falcon, Cubby new go. strike mission, uh, Green two, Square, six. southwest I of our FOB. Friendlies are 200 meters to the east of Green Square. Over. out to you. Roger, scene. Rolling in now. One through four. Location of friendly. Location of friendly. Six, this is one, sit rep as follows. One is moving south, trying Probably to take off face, raise break. altitude, raise altitude. We're taking some casualties, but we're uh, still able to move and uh, fight effectively. Break. Uh, running a little low on Covey to Falcon, good effect on target. Disappeared when someone went down and it just Covey to Scarface, sorry, my bad. I should have told you to raise altitude over. much earlier. One, Roger, no out to you. Two, that Roger, fire out. below us. Yep. Spotted it. I'm gonna drop red smokes. Cobra's already right over it right now. Oh, they almost shot him down. <laughs> good thing, good thing you mentioned him. <laughs> Keeping him on his toes, Don. Yeah, really, keep him awake.
Covey to Falcon, Green Square, north of FOB, 200 meters from Friendlies, over. Six, uh, this with is what you two want. coming in over. We're detecting some fire coming in from the north. Roger, if you want to hop over the other squad there. Yeah, I like uh, two, Roger. Falcon right. This is Delta. We got a mass enemy force coming from the north now. Falcon up target. Hello, two. I need you to turn yourself around and go and support Delta. Covey Falcon, good point. effect. I have no idea where Charlie are. They appear to have melted. So was your your main gun on the side of a of a Huey Don? Was it a M60 or did you guys have yeah. mini guns? Yeah, we had uh, mini guns. Uh, I mean M60s. The 20th SOS gunships had had mini six, guns. Two, come in mm -hmm. over. And then some of the later units, uh, the uh, crew chiefs uh, mounted mini guns on them, but uh, that was kind of after our time. Gotcha. Crew chief being a mechanical bunch, why they sometimes got real creative. <laughs> how would they? How would they mount them? Like, did they? Uh, did they have rudimentary mounting setups, or did were they pre-made for that aircraft? No, they would. They would manufacture them themselves. Wow. Like, we had a uh, Colonel Six Drake was, was the Sigma commander, and uh, I that was for five. I he, that was uh, five. Flew C and C at 5,000 feet, and so he wanted the crew chief to put a 50 caliber yeah, on, uh, so he could that. feel like he was getting uh, in the no, air. Yeah, so he's reaching. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and he could also mark targets with it. Roger. Anyone have an M72 law? Let's get engaged. Roger. Some of you must. One of you must have one. Eliminated. The other one might be. Deep. So how many how many hours per day do you think you were flying on average? Uh, sometimes, uh, 10, 12, 16. Wow. Yeah, uh, during the May offensive, why we had a 25-hour inspection that took like, about, uh, oh, about four uh, hours do to do it, where we checked <laughs> all the chip detectors, yep. and we were doing the 25, 5-hour uh, uh, inspection yeah, every two days. So that I can bring a wow. helicopter directly to your position, break. Uh, share out the yeah, the lookout for a tracer out there in front of us. See what yep. I, do. I think they spotted him. Yeah, my day would be I'd come back and uh, get back at 7, 8 at night and then uh, do the 25-hour inspection till midnight, go have a few beers and some breakfast, and then get up at 4 the next morning and go do it again. Crazy. How, when when did you go to, how much sleep did you get between? So you said you got up at four in the morning? Yeah, so I'd, uh, you know, maybe get two, three hours. <laughs> Just a little cat nap every day. That's enough. Yeah. I like three. Yeah, and I think that's why a lot of uh, combat vets have uh, sleep issues. Mm. You know, you, you Hello, learn to run for Hello, days and days and days together. with very little sleep, and you can just stay awake. Yeah. You know, when we did that 24-hour jungle run charity game, you know, I had no trouble doing that. Crazy. See, I had trouble Hello, doing that. <laughs> yeah. I'm a wuss. I gotta get my sleep. Then sweep east along the peninsula and knock out the anti-aircraft gun in grid square 074114. Any questions? Over. A lot of contacts down there. Covey to Scarface, just note those red smokes are a bit too close to the FOB. Just extend them out another 100 meters and that's the real target zone. Six, this is five. Uh, be advised, I've got a six Roger. strong element coming in to reinforce Able uh, from the rear, over. Hello, five, Roger. Able are moving south. Drop some right gas yes, down there. Done, uh, direct those reinforcements to join him uh, as a priority. Ever. Roger that, six, five out. Hello, three, this is Wow, it really Roger. opened up. Last, over. I'm gonna call in the uh, the F4. Hello, three. I say again, uh, I need you to move south and assist Able in knocking out that anti-aircraft gun. Then move east. Covey to Falcon. New strike mission. Uh, suggest rockets on Green Line to the west of our FOB. Friendlies are 300 meters northeast of Green Line. It's a hilltop, rocky hilltop. Lots of enemies all along it. Covey to Scarface. Make sure to keep altitude over that hill. Uh, Falcon is about to strike. Hello, five. This is six. Roger that. Could you get the 
Uh, engineers to commence fire on that last anti-aircraft gun to the north because at the moment it's the only thing stopping from any supplies to this location area. Charlie, this is able to go. That was pretty cool. I almost shot down a phantom. <laughs> Cubby Falcon, do you want to repeat? Cubby, negative, good effect on target. <laughs> Charlie, you able message over. Yeah, I don't think Jack realized how yep. close he came on that Charlie, be advised. Charlie, just. <laughs> Covey to Scarface, we're cleared in this AO. You're uh, good to move in and start assisting in the actual AO now. No anti-air is online. Covey, that's great news. Uh, Roger, we'll uh, be Covey, uh, sick, sitting the near the bridge and Covey, copy. waiting for you to give us targets. Uh, I've popped smoke and I'm moving my infantry across the bridge now, but we've got a significant portion of enemy contact still on the eastern side of Atapu. Is there any possibility that you can get the Covey and or Cobra Disregard, you can get the Cobra and or Phantom to hit those targets for me. Oh, hold fire, hold fire, Don. Those are friendlies. Those are friendlies over on that side of the peninsula. The the smoke to the right is all hostile, but the left of that house is friendly. Uh, yes, good. Yeah, Copy okay. copies, I will uh, get the Cobra on that quick. Uh, requesting fire mission on green rectangle east of our friendlies uh, in the center of the AO. Over. L. Two, four, be advised, Charlie has crossed the river. Uh, so you may have friendly in front of you who have not caught their movement. Check your fire. Check your fire. Out. Hello. Hello, three. This is command. I would really appreciate you telling me you're crossing the river uh, as I've called, out. I've called fire support on you. Over. I think there's a, that's a mix of friendlies that's and hostiles side. all in one so spot. We got some uh, Hello people three, down there six. with green Hello faces. Three, this is six. I don't believe are so, but the, the, side of the, river the friendlies, the friendlies are now, almost over. interlaced with them right now. River. Uh, river is a mixed bag, I think. That Yeah, that way is kind of a mixed bag at the moment. But we are taking shots from that exact position. Yeah, if anything shoots at us, feel free to shoot back. Hello, two. Hello four. This is... Six, be advised, I have. Looks like uh, they're at that hut down there. an emergency LZ behind you, LZ 40. We'll bring ammunition and medical supplies. Eyes on, I'm gonna hit that. You. Uh, I think those are all hostiles at that village between those three the shacks, shacks there. Should be all hostile. To assist you shortly. Out to you. Hello, one. This is six. Get a rocket into there, into uh, those bushes. I need you to move back to the able extract marker. I will be calling in a Huey slick to uh, leap from you across the river to join the rest of the platoon. Amen. Six, this is one contact way out. Ooh, vehicle on the road. Hostile vehicle on the road. At the T intersection, right beside the flare. Taking a lot of fire, I'm gonna keep moving. Somebody got Space it. Plate one yep. requesting repeat on illumination over. All aircraft, turn your collision lights on. All aircraft, turn collision lights on. Falcon's lights are on. Falcon on target. Back. Covey to Falcon, good effect. Covey to all air, ignore red smokes, ignore Hello, red smokes. Six, I'm confused. Do you or do you not need ammunition, Mayor? Falcon, don't target red smoke. Six, four, we found the ammunition. Over. Roger, full, out. Covey Falcon, good effect. You probably just Stop killed right 30 now. people. <laughs> I 
Covey to Falcon repeat fire mission. Uh, uh, new red circle Charlie, just east of that last that one. Napalm strike. It's about uh, 100 meters too far to the northwest. Charlie, Roger. Uh, continue to withdraw to LZ Baldy. I'm going to get you and Delta out on these birds first. Over. Good copy. Um. Hello, Got a lot Delta. of guys up there. Hello, four. This is six. I need you to withdraw to LZ yeah. Baldy at best speed. Over. Roger that. On it. Fox rolling in. Covey Falcon, great effect on target. 6 1, confirm. You want us to mount up ASAP or wait for your go? Hello 1, on it's on the chopper on the deck, get in it. Hello Stand 2, by. I need you to collapse onto the LZ immediately. We're getting in these choppers and we're getting the fuck out of here, over. Oof. <laughs> so much fun. Six, this is two. Is there space for uh, us? Hello, two. There will be space in the rear bird. Over. Covey is fully Winchester at the moment. Uh, just gonna try to do some aerial recon. These last few minutes here. Falcon Roger. Covey to all CAS assets. Uh, area marked with large red circle just north of town is all hostile. Up, up. Enemy oh, heli, enemy face. heli in the air, enemy heli in the air. Enemy heli's over the water. Uh, moving south, yep. All units be advised, uh, this is Covey, enemy heli is in the air. Roger that, Scarface engaging. His tail's out, his tail's out. Okay, I need to land because my gun Good is kill, down. good kill. Jeez. What a time to be out of ammo. <laughs> I know. Covey to Falcon, your napalm landed on the body of that heli as it hit the ground. I'm gonna put that Starfight down as no uh, enemy survivors in that heli. Yep. My legs are covered in blood right now here in the cockpit. Oh really? Yeah, I guess I got shot a little bit. Well, <laughs> if you're not incapacitated and you're still flying, then that's fine. Yep, exactly. Now we're just waiting for a uh, Ken and Rob to get out of here. I think there's... Oh yeah, we're all clear. Everybody's x -filled. Yeah, I, uh... My platoon leader, Gene Neal, was, uh... uh just cool as all get out under fire, and he was the company instructor pilot, so it was always the new pilots in company flew with us, mm. and, uh... We're flying and, and uh, some rounds uh, hit the aircraft and the co-pilot started uh, screaming, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit in the head, I'm hit in the head. <laughs> and uh, Gene goes, I got it, I got it, takes the control from him, flies to the 93rd Evac Hospital at Long Bend and uh, says, while we're here, I better get my foot checked out too. And come to find out, it was Gene had got hit in, in the foot. That was all the blood splattered all over the co cockpit, <laughs> and uh, it was just his blood on the co-pilot's face that had the co-pilot <laughs> so freaked out. Jeez. But, I mean, that's just, uh, you know, the kind of cool that, this, that some of those uh, Huey pilots had. Yeah. Just nothing phased them. So the blood from his foot splattered up, and the other pilot thought it was on, it was his head that had gotten hit? 
because of the yeah. blood? Yeah, huh. it splattered all over the, the inside of the windshield oh and all over his face and helmet <laughs> uh. and everywhere, and he was convinced he was the one hit. Wow. And, you know, Gene didn't say anything except, I've got it, and then he flew all the way back operating the, the uh, pedals with the wounded foot and didn't say anything until we landed at the hospital. Wow. And he goes, Oh, I better get my foot checked out while I'm here because I got hit. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Let's see, it's, those are just stories that just sound like they're straight out of an action movie to me. Because you know, me being a fully civilian and all the viewers, a lot of the viewers that I have too, all being civilian, we, we can't relate to that at all. It's it's a very unique set of experiences that you guys have that just not. That very very few people will ever experience yeah it's uh i know when uh call of duty came out i watched my uh grandson bigma play in it and uh boy with the advanced graphics there for a while it was kind of tough to watch it hmm. because it was so intense and real yeah hold on and, uh, come on my buddy yellow cargo lift to bring it into me same thing with with this game i mean uh, first few times I played a mission, I mean, you get all out elements, all elements, just spin. Command, I'm by the yellow card. Yeah, because you're it totally speed, immersed in it. And base play. Actually, uh, command is telling us to collect at the cargo lift. Cargo lift? Uh, I think it's... Oh, it's like a aircraft puller thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll land our bird in the hangar just to make a make a show. Junior officers who have to marshal all this shit and be on the radio constantly and go slightly insane. Yeah. Um, thanks, it Digby. Takes a lot, of, it takes a lot to put yeah. something like this together. So Thank my you. thanks mainly is to the Prairie Fire devs for putting together a great CDLC uh, and for hosting this because this was their brainchild. So thank you to them. Lost all the pilots because we didn't have one mid-air collision the whole time. That was. <laughs> hey, we got close a few times though. <laughs> Everyone, back to slash to salute. Backslash. Everybody, salute. Backslash. Backslash. Yeah, man. Everyone, no, now you're small. Napalm. We sure we want to say napalm. Show us your napalm. Whiplash around. Oh. Oh, say can you see? <laughs> Hello, mate, mate. Good to hear. Speak now. Hello, oh, Roger. We're standing on area where we put 40 mics. Four oh, and straight check. Roger uh, that. Okay. Roger that. Roger that. Roger that. Zex, this is two. We'll double check. This is one. We are zero effects on the ground. We've got a couple of guys off south of each. I got the point, but I have not managed to touch base with them on radio yet. Over.